Hello again. Welcome back to Advanced English Language Academy. Today we will talk about the use of shall and well. Simply, uh, when I'm talking about using shall and well, I'm talking about old English, right? And the modern English will is a good and accurate re uh, replacement for both. Uh, you know, shall has almost been eliminated. Shall is no more used. But uh, still, in uh, practicing English, uh, if a person is speaking uh, uh, native English, so you'll be listening shall and these kind of things. So let's talk about shall, where to use shall and where to use well. When we use shall with I and we, so it's just probable uh, situation and intentions. For example, I say I shall go to school. So I mean that it's only my intention. Maybe if it is raining tomorrow, then I, I, I shall not go. We shall play cricket. So here shall shows that it is only an intention. Uh, anything can happen. Uh, for example, if I wasn't feeling well, so then I will not go. I'll, I'll, I'll not play cricket. But when we use well with I and we, so it becomes emphatic. Emphatic means that now I am 100% sure and I am determined that rain or shine at any rate, at any cost, in any situation, I will do that. For example, when you say, I will go to school. So it means that you are 100% determined that if anything happens, it doesn't matter. If it is raining, if it is sunny, if you are sick, whatever uh, things are, you will go to school. And we will play cricket, Sam, emphatic sentence. You are determined to do that. When you use a he with, with well with other subjects, like, you know, we just talked about I, remember um, with I and we, when we use show, it's just probable, and with I and we, we use well, so it becomes emphatic. With, with other subjects, for example, he, she, they, you, when we use well with them, so it's just, you know, just the contrary, opposite. When we use well here, so it's a probable or a probable situation, it's only an intention. But when we use well with I and we, it becomes emphatic. Now it's just think about it, it's completely different. We, he will go to school, it's just probable situation. It's only his intention. They will go to school, it's only their intention. Anything can happen. If it is raining, they, they won't go. If it is snowing, they won't go. If they aren't feeling well, they won't go. And just opposite of I and we, if we use shall with other subjects like he, they, we use shall with these subjects, with uh, he, they, we. So the sentence becomes em emphatic. The sentence becomes emphatic, like he shall go to school. So that means, it's very, you know, a person's firm intention uh, that he, he won't stop. Like, nothing can stop him. Rain can't stop him. Some sickness, sickness can't stop him. He shall go to school. Emphatic. They shall play cricket. Rain or shine, they shall play cricket. They get sick, no problem. They, it is raining, no problem. Or... Uh, the weather is not suitable for playing cricket, no problem. They show play cricket. And so completely opposite. When you use show with I and we, it is probable and just intention. But when we use show with he, they, etc., other subjects, so then they become emphatic. These sentences become emphatic. And when we use well with we and I, so it's emphatic situation. I will do that. And when you use well with he, they, you, etc. So they're just probable and probable conditions and uh, just intention. Uh, I guess you will understand that. Let, let, let me give you the summary. Just think about the opposite. You use shall with we and I. 
it's just your intention. But when you use shall with other subjects, so it becomes emphatic. And when you use will with I and we, so it's emphatic situation, but when we use well with he, they, and other subjects, so it's not emphatic, then it's just probable situation and we are talking about our intention. Thanks a lot. Keep watching.